Hi everyone, this is Anup from Informatica GCS team. Today we are going to see two modes of run for data profiling and the difference between their associated results. So as we said, there are two modes of data profiling. One is keep signatures only and other is keep signatures and values. Before going to data profiling, let's quickly take a look at the data that we have. Under this schema, we have a table name called subscriptions and these are the five rows in the table now let's go to data profiling so here we have a catalog source named catalog subscription 2 and we are performing the data profiling and we have chosen the mode of run as keep signatures only the profiling scope is full so if we are profiling a database for the first time the entire database will be scanned and profiled so but when for the subsequent run of data profiling if we have added number of rows in the table or added number of tables in the schema then we can set the profiling scope as incremental that will save upon the uh, profiling time and the results of the incremental profiling are accumulative then the sampling type there are two types of sampling type all rows and limit n rows so if there are million rows then we can set the restriction on how many rows to profile for now we have five rows in the table so we can keep it all rows then we have to set the runtime environment in mapping submission time is the time in minutes for which this profiling job will be in the queue before it's getting timed out then precision of string uh, is 50 characters so uh, for the given length of string the 50 characters will be considered for profiling and the text qualifier can be of two type that is double quote and single quote so we have selected it for now as double quotes so let's take a look at this catalog source and uh, we are looking at a column uh, named region from this catalog source so these are the data profiling results so inferred data type is string so all the rows have the data type string so five rows 100 percent string then this is the pattern identified in the data so for example the seven axis uh, can represent the data something as arizona uh, arizona and florida then such the such kind of there are two rows then the similar pattern is identified for other rows then we have the value frequencies the so value frequency tells how many rows are there in the catalog source and then are there any null values in this column or how many distinct values are there and if there are any non distinct or duplicates the we can see here so this is the result that we get after the signatures only mode of run now let's take a look at keep signatures and values so we have set these parameters as previous uh, but for now the mode of run for data profiling is keep signatures and values now let's take a look at so we have already run this catalog source and the profiling so let's take a look at an another catalog source named subscriptions underscore catalog and we are taking a look at an, the column named region uh, so we will see the similar results for data profiling as uh, data profiling with keep signatures only uh, that in for example inferred data types then pattern pattern matching to the rows uh, for the 7 uh, x here uh, matching to florida and arizona uh, then value frequencies distinct non distinct rows in the column or in the, in the data uh, but along with that in the value frequency here we have selected for data profiling is keep signatures and values so we get the contribution of each row towards this data so here we get all the values present in this column so these are the region values and how many values so all are distinct values so frequency is one 
and since there are five rows then the each rows contribution is 20 percent so this is the main difference that we uh, see about the value frequencies with values uh, with uh, keep signatures and values option so if you have any questions you can reach out to us uh, using this email and also we have a twitter handle thank you thanks for watching the video